Salsitas de Kimchi. Hola, yo soy Diana. Y yo soy Gisela. Nosotros somos Double Trouble en Corea. Y se me olvidó ponerme gloss en los labios. Y además este video era en inglés. Hello Kimchi This is Diana and this is Gisela and this is Double Trouble in Korea. Double Trouble in Korea. That's right. Welcome to our very first video in English. Welcome everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Okay. So this is the first video we're gonna make in English and it's a special video because it's a response to a tag that is going around on YouTube. Exactly. That is also our very first tag. Exactly. Yay. The tag name is K-pop Ultimate Diaz Bias <laughs> Whatever. We're gonna have eight questions that we're gonna answer about our bias. Exactly. Our K-pop bias, excuse me. So this is how we're gonna do it. First we're gonna make the question and then we are both going to answer one and one and so on and so forth. So, so let's get this. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Okay. So question number one is, who is your ultimate K-pop bias? Name some qualities that you admire. You go. No, you go first. Okay. <laughs> My ultimate bias is... G-Dragon. Oh my, it's not Well, you exactly all know that, that I'm a YG stan and G-Dragon is just my ultimate bias because I love the way he dances, I love the way he sings, I like his songs. Do you love the way he likes? I love the way he likes. I like his voice and he's funny, he's really like, he likes to interact with people. When I say bye bye, you say good girl, bye bye, good girl, bye bye. Okay, you go now. Okay, this is actually kind of hard for me because I don't really have an ultimate bias. However, for the this video purposes only, I'm going to choose Bum from 21. 21! Exactly. Just for today. Bum me on me! Okay, now name some qualities that you admire. Oh, yeah. She's older. <laughs> <laughs> she's like my age, so that just makes her pretty cool. That's it. I think she's really funny. And she seems to be like a really good person. And like for example, whenever we've seen her live, like in person, she's always like super nice to the fans, you know, like she's always taking care of them, saying hi, greeting them, smiling at them. Like she really cares. So to me that makes her just really cool. And also she knows how to party and that's very important. Oh, and she can also sing and stuff. Exactly, as you can see both of our biases are well, mostly our favorites because they are really good with like fan service. Yeah, because they're like good. So they are like nice to fans. Well, yeah. Because that's their job, honestly. Okay, then question number two is: List your bias ruiner. Other bias who make you forget you have an ultimate bias. Bias ruiner. <laughs> who be your bias ruiner? I have like four. <laughs> Right now I will say either Top or Taeyang Taeyang because of the new album because I've been listening to the new album a lot so I will say that that's my ultimate bias but I also really love Taezumi either Top or Taeyang I will say for me my bias ruiner would be CL because because she's like totally an amazing performer whenever she's on stage she just gives it all you know she's there she dances she has this energy or like Koreans would say charisma. charisma so she's really very charismatic like you cannot take your eyes apart from her because she's like just really good on stage I think she was born to be on stage so I don't know I really like that and sometimes she's cool and when I met her in person also she was cool so are you ready for the B E S and also I love how she thinks like she's like the one and only baddest female. <laughs> so that that I like that. That's cool. Okay, question number three. 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 If you were stuck on an elevator with your ultimate bias, what would you do? I would be awkward. That's what I would do. Being awkward. 
Yeah, what else would you do? I mean, okay. I think we, we all would be. I mean, I had GD like standing next to me for like 30 seconds and I didn't do anything. So, so if I was, yours if we were on an elevator, I wouldn't do anything that's like But it's me. different because this time it would be just you and him, a small space, nobody else there, everything is quiet. And yes, you would be awkward, but maybe just for the first couple of minutes. Well, maybe but I would that, just say like, oh, what'd you do? Hi, what's up? And just ask for a picture, maybe. For his number. No, I'm just scared. Maybe just the picture, I don't know. What would you say to him? Hi, can we take a picture? Okay. Oof, what are we gonna do with these next three hours? Oof. Hi, Neil! <laughs> you mean? I like your music? I don't know. I would just, I don't know, I'm just too awkward to be around people. <laughs> what would you do? What would I do? What would a dinosaur do? Whenever I don't know anything, I just wonder, you know, what would a dinosaur do? It's not like that's gonna resolve the matter, but it's just funny, so it draws the attention out of him. Okay, so what would you do? <laughs> so what would I do? What would I do? I don't know, I would just talk to her really, you know. Like, About what? Weather? First, the weather, of course. Like, you know, if it's summer, I would be like, oh my god, why is Korea so hot? Do we all have to die in this hell or something like that? But, no, yeah, I mean, I would first do small talk and see how she goes with strangers and then just take it from there and then just like, okay, so see you next weekend for a party? Okay, bye. As you can see, we have no idea what we'll be doing. Exactly. <laughs> We're stuck on the elevator. Okay, number four. What would you ask your ultimate bias if you ever got a chance to meet them? Nothing, I don't care. They're just K-pop stars. Hey man, what how much for your car? <laughs> or like, yo, what's your apartment number? There's nothing that I want to ask them. Maybe I will just ask like, you, did, you man, why do you use so much like eyeshadow? So I think I would ask her like, what do you prefer, corn or alcohol? That would be a good question, because she really likes both. I think these questions are getting harder. By the second. Number five, let's say you entered a K-pop con contest to spend the day with your ultimate bias and you won. Where would you go? I would just go to the YG building. I would ask. I would want to hang out there. Well, yeah, I was gonna say that I would want to hang out at her house, but I hear that Bomb has like no house. Like she lives with her parents or are the 21. And I don't think they will allow you to go to their house. <laughs> I just a contest. Oh, really? We're not friends yet. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's say you enter a K pop contest to spend the day with your ultimate oh, bias. Okay. Would I ask them to go? I don't know. I would ask them to go and have a. A roof party during springtime. Not so many. <laughs> I cannot come up with anything else. I mean, I don't know if I want to hang out with. Boba like like I said, these questions are getting harder because yeah. we just like them. Yeah, but we're not like, like randomly. Or yeah. yeah. Okay, so number six, <laughs> you are in charge of putting together a music video treatment for your ultimate bias. What would it look like? No idea. <laughs> Honestly, I I can barely keep up with these videos. <laughs> I would do something black and white, like really tasteful. You know, because sometimes Bomb, whenever she sings like solo, she's like super boring. So I would at least make the video beautiful, so people do wouldn't like fall asleep and would have something to see. Are you saying Kuri Waheyo wasn't like awesome? Well, it was a good video. I will do something like Fantastic Baby. So number seven. Mm. What would you do if K-pop didn't exist? I will listen to regular music. Yeah, I would listen to... I mean, I still do listen to regular music. So we wouldn't do anything. So number eight. Name a few things you want to see happen for K-pop. I want to see YG family on like more TV shows, like like bombs like reality shows it would be fun oh, yeah, maybe would be fun. maybe have them like tour do actual world tours rather than world tours that just go to asia that's for you yd that was asian tour what so else? that was it that was it yes those were some tough questions the first one was the easiest one yes who's your bias 
but it was fun doing this stuff. Exactly. Now you let us know what's your who's your favorite bias. Make a video about it. Make the tag and leave it as a response here. Exactly. We also want to know who your bias. That is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Just remember that you can find us on our SNS like. Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, and also on Facebook as Double Trouble and Play. All right, that is it for today. Don't forget to like the video if you're biased or any of the people we mentioned today. Or anyone. Or anyone. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Exactly. And also tell your friends to subscribe. Hope you have a great day and see you on the next video. All right. Go. So you should go with Tom. I mean. <laughs> I should go out with Tom. With Tom? <laughs> Tom! Yeah, I don't know, but you should totally go out with him. <laughs> I, w I should go out with T.O.P. I would probably ask Bomb why is she like so obsessed with plastic surgery. Like, I would just ask him to go to like the... Where do you get married? Like... <laughs> City Hall? Courthouse or whatever and bring your paper, your ID. <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> just one day together. <laughs>